Let's get right to the top story at five. Scaling the sphere today, a Las Vegas man caused quite a stir climbing to the top of our valley's newest attraction and what police are calling a publicity stunt. The mugshot for 24 year old Mason Deschamps right here just came into our newsroom. This is not the first time, though, he's been arrested. Our Brian Horwath is outside the sphere right now. Brian, we know this man was able to get down and was taken into custody, but what else do we know at this hour? Yeah, Trisha, really a dangerous situation earlier today, late this morning. That's when this man who calls himself pro-life Spider-Man was able to breach security here at the Sphere and eventually climb all the way to the top of this massive structure behind me, which towers almost 400 feet into the air. The climber who turned heads outside the Sphere Wednesday was no superhero, though the moniker he uses would suggest otherwise. Pro-Life Spider-Man. His name is Mason, actually. He goes by Pro-Life Spider-Man. The man, his real name is Mason Deschamps from Las Vegas, started to scale the circular structure around 10 o'clock Wednesday morning. I'm here on top of the Sphere. I guess they're going to make me go through the top. Before he was escorted down, the trek caught the attention of those passing by, including Tim Luzak. I don't know what kind of penalty they have for being foolish. <laughs> the goal of the climb, which drew a large presence of police, emergency vehicles, and personnel, was to raise awareness for anti-abortion causes, according to a small group of people, including Tim Clement, supporting Deschamps from the base of the sphere. He's willing to die for this cause. He has risked his safety climbing other buildings across the country in the past. Up here in Phoenix. Including the 40-story Chase Tower in Phoenix, Arizona, right before last year's Super Bowl. When he heard about the episode during a Super Bowl security news conference, Metro Sheriff Kevin McMahill was not amused. Today there's an individual for a publicity stunt that just tried to are climbing up the top of the sphere. In a statement, a representative of the Sphere thanked the local authorities who responded. Anna Tran, a supporter of Deschamps, didn't seem bothered by any of the possible repercussions, which included the temporary detaining of some in her group by Metro. Do you know what the penalties are for this? I do not know. That's uh, above my pay grade. Beyond McMahill's comments, when asked about the incident, a Metro spokesperson said it's still being investigated. Now, just before we went on air, we did learn that 24-year-old Mason Desham is being held at Clark County Detention Center. He's being held on multiple charges, including one felony, and there's also two other individuals who have been charged in relation to this matter. So that's what we know right now at this hour about this incident. Reporting from just outside the sphere, I'm Brian Horwath. Thank you. And we looked into the UNLV graduates history with these types of incidents. Now, he climbed a skyscraper in San Francisco back in 2022. And you may remember prior to that, he climbed the Aria in 2021 as a protest against the mask mandate. Metro police arrested him and charged him with trespassing and disorderly conduct.